Some of these fish we are catching in here, the colorful ones, these guys are going probably for over 200 bucks. Got him, got him. That's a good one. He is so freaking blue. Oh. There he goes. Welcome back to another awesome video guys today. We're here in sunny South Florida the land of the exotics guys We are back here at this canal filled with these crazy fish You've seen it on the channel before and we're back today because we're trying to catch as many as possible If you guys for some reason haven't seen the past videos here basically behind me in these chains of canals There is a fish called a vieja cichlid a very very cool looking fish that is definitely not supposed to be in these waters Somehow some way they got their way in here through maybe someone releasing them in here or maybe they escaped from some pond like during a flood who knows all i know is they are flooded in here they're everywhere and they're super cool fish today we're looking to get rich guys because i was at a pet store the other day and i saw one of these viagia cichlids in there and mind you it was a very ugly viagia cichlid absolutely no coloration at all and it was a female so it didn't have the big hump guys go ahead and take a guess on how much you think this fish was going for at this store if you guessed 150 dollars you are correct so i was thinking dude some of these fish we are catching in here the colorful ones the the big males these guys are going probably for over 200 bucks so that's what we're doing today we're just gonna go out walk down this canal and try to catch as many as possible try to become some billionaires here we've got a cooler filled with water so we're gonna keep every single one we catch today so we're doing ourselves and florida a favor because we're getting the cool fish and we're getting them out of the waterways to catch these fish today guys we're using a little tiny hook and some good old worms these fish love worms so let's get you guys on my chest start walking down the canal and see what we can catch Let's get our hook baited up. Look at that. Oh, I see one. I see two actually. Oh, I had him. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh, that's a baby. Yeah, we got one guys, let's go. I think that's a baby male, if I'm not mistaken, or it's a female, but that's a little baby. Check this out guys, look at that. Little baby Viesia. We're rich, boys. All right, buddy, in you go. We're gonna get an air rod on. Keep these guys nice and happy. And bubbles. That was freaking quick, dude. That was like two seconds. Oh, nice one. That's a nice one. Oh, he's going for it. He's got it. Oh, 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 he's attacking it. I think this one's on a bed, you guys. This one's aggressive. Oh, he, he may have just swam away. Oh my God. Oh, it's a bluegill. Dang it. I thought I had him. Bro, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, look at that, something tried to eat him. Well, you live to see another day. There he is, guys, see him? Right on his bed. Okay, I have an idea, ready? I learned this from bass fishing. We're gonna throw the bait on her bed. Oh, I see the other one. I see her, oh, I see the other one. Maybe we can get the other one. The other one's there. All right, here's my technique, guys. So the worm is sitting right on their bed. Oh no, please, bluegill. I'm waiting for him to come back onto their bed and then I'm gonna move the worm a little bit so they don't see me casting at them. That's a good technique for bed fishing. Here it comes, here it comes, ready? Watch this guys, watch this. Let him get settled in. Oh, he, oh, watch, this is gonna work. We let him get settled in. I start twitching it. Oh, ready? Got him, oh my God, it worked. It freaking worked. Oh, let's go, let's go. Bass fishing actually taught me something. Nice, that's a male. We got the nice male, there we go. Easy, buddy. Oh, we got four pound test, guys. I can't be horsing them in. These guys are freaking strong. Give up. You're done. You're done. Wait, is this the female? This might be the female. Oh, it's the male. He's just got a small hump. Check that out, guys. Number two. That's a nice one. Number two, Viesia of the day. Oh, he's pooping on me and peeing. Nice. Thank you, buddy. Beautiful. That's a really nice one. Not the prettiest one we've caught, but it's a good one. There you go, bud. It looks like we're setting up for freaking success today. We've been here for about 10 minutes. We've got two in the bag. Let's see if we can go two for two with this bed fishing technique, guys. Okay, this one's too smart, I guess. She, she actually just left. She's not even there anymore. Oh boy, I see a really pretty one down there. Holy crap, she is gorgeous. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Got him, got him. Let's go. Oh my gosh, look at this. 
This one's so sick. It's a little baby, but she's got great colors. There she is, look at that. That's a good one. I think that's a female. Number three going in. Go on. Okay guys, we're definitely on the numbers right now, but we have not yet caught a really big, pretty male. So let's try to get one of those next. Let's drive down the canal a little bit and try and spot a big male. Oh, oh, I see nice ones. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're nice ones. Here we go, guys, come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh my gosh, he went for it. No. That one was the prettiest one of the day. He's still down there. Oh, I wish you guys would have seen that one. That one was so pretty. Got a baby, I got a baby. Little baby Viasia. There it goes. All right, let's drive down. See if we can get some of those big males. Those guys are smart. All right, let's go get them. Let's go get them. Got him. Yes! Oh, that's a good one. Oh, boy. That's a good one, guys. Holy crap, the colors on this one are insane. Oh, please don't get off. Oh, my God. Why did I say that? Out of all the times I've been here, out of all the Vegas I've ever caught, that was the prettiest, guys. Oh, that is so heartbreaking. Oh, man. No, I don't want a Mayan, bro. Oh, baby Viesia. Got him. Nice. We'll take it. We'll take it. Definitely not as good as the other one. Check out the blue eyes on this one. This one's gorgeous. I lost track. I don't even know how many we have. I think maybe five. We'll get another big male, guys. Don't worry about it, but that sucks. As soon as I said, please don't come off, he came off. Unreal, dude. He's a little baby. Oh, the baby really wants it. Got him. Another little baby. All right. Another baby going in. I think that's number six, guys. I lost count. At the end of the day, we're going to go in there, count them all up, and try to get a little estimated price on how much money worth of fish we caught in one day. Oh my gosh, there was one in there. Look at this. There's one in this little crack. I saw him poke his head out. One got scared off that way, but I think there's two. There, one, there might be one in there still. Oh, no, I had him. He's in the crack. No, not the bluegill. Dude, are you serious? Are you kidding me? You're lucky that snakehead's over here because I would put you on that hook and feed you to the snakehead so quick. <gasps> oh my God, school of Viejas, school of Viejas. Right there. Right there, come on. Oh, there's a lot of them. No, not the dang bluegill. Oh my God, oh my God, are you serious? Are you kidding me? I'm actually pissed off now. Dude, there was like 10 Viejas cichlids there, all big ones, and this freaking idiot eats it. Oh, that one is so bright. No! Oh, he just ate it right in front of me. Are you kidding me? No! Oh, he's so red. Eat the bear hook, please. Please, just eat the bear hook. Not the bass! Oh my God, guys, I don't know what is going on. This bass just ate a bear hook. You wanna come home? I'll take you home. No, not the female. Not the female. All right, whatever, I'll take it. We'll take it, whatever. The male that was with this female was so gorgeous. Dang, bro, that thing is so orange. Look at that. That's a nice female right there. All right, guys, nice female right there. That's a good one. In she goes. Okay, guys, we are crushing it on the numbers. We have tons of little ones and uh, medium-sized females. I think we have one male, but we don't have any like real big and colorful males. So we're gonna try and catch one of those and then we're gonna end it off. We're gonna head to Pond X, put these guys into Pond X. Let's hope we can get ourselves a giant male next. Look at that one's head right there. That one's got a big old knot on his head. Come on, just, just go ahead and eat it so I can go home. It's really hot, you know? Oh my God, that thing is huge. No! Oh my God, he went for it! He went for it! Who is honking at me? Shut up! Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Got him, got him. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, no! No, get out of the rocks! Oh my God, he's so blue. Oh, he's so blue. He is so freaking blue. Yes. Oh, yes! Oh my God. Look at this, guys. That is what we were after, baby. Yes. That is absolutely gorgeous. That's the prettiest one we've ever caught, guys. This guy's going in a tank. 100% he's going into a freaking tank. Look at that, bro. How is that even a fish? That is beautiful. All right, let's get him into the cooler. Go on. 
That's a keeper, bro. Let's go, guys. I think that's going to do it for the fishing segment in today's video, guys. We ended off really good there. So my plan is I want to put that fish into a tank for sure because... I mean, the coloration, dude, you just can't get any better than that. Just because of the coloration, how big he is, how big the hump is, it's perfect. So we're going to put him actually into the ugly fish tank. It doesn't really make sense because he's not ugly at all. But we're going to have to put him into there until we get another tank big enough for him. Because I don't want to put him into the African Ziglu tank. And I also really want him into a tank. So for now, we're going to put him into the ugly fish tank. It's going to look so good in there. And the rest of them we're going to put into Pond X. So let's head home and get this done. Get our new fish into their new homes. This is so sick, guys. Let's open up the cooler here. Woo! That is a pretty nice haul right there, guys. Oh, God. I forgot these fish are crazy when you open the cooler. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you hear that, dude? They're just smashing their heads against the wall. Stay calm. Stay calm. Stop it. Let's take a look at the big one. Oh, look at that fish, bro. That is the best one we have ever caught. The rest of them, not really worth showing off. Just, you know, females, little ones. Woo, guys, go down there. Drop a like if you're loving the Viesia cichlids. But yeah, guys, awesome day. Let's head home. Okay, guys, we have made it home. Let's check on our fish. There's our big boy right there. <laughs> there we go. Don't be doing that. Oh, gotcha. Look at that fish. All right, let's get you inside. Oh, I can't wait to put him in the tank. All right, let's get this guy in the tank. Yo, by the way, we put the gar in here. This is still the ugly fish tank, guys. Just letting you know. But as you could tell, our little guy, the, the rock, the lionfish, whatever thing, I read you guys' comments, and it ended up that this fish wasn't even freshwater. He's brackish. So I gave him to a friend who has some saltwater tanks. Just because, you know, I don't feel like making this a brackish water tank. I want this to be the ugly fish tank. So this is still going to be the ugly fish tank. This guy is just going to be in here temporarily until we get a new tank for him. Let's get the VAs in. In you go, big boy. There he goes. Oh, he is so sick. Now, obviously, he's stressed out. That's why his colors are a little bit more dull right now. But once he gets real comfortable, he's going to be coming up, swimming up here in front of the new lights. And he's gonna look incredible. Yeah, it sucks I had to get rid of the uh, freshwater lionfish. Listen, you could say like, oh, that's why you should do your research before buying fish. I mean, listen, if it's labeled freshwater, you would think that it would be able to live in a freshwater tank, but I guess not. This is definitely gonna become the ugly fish tank. The gar, the gar is pretty ugly. I think gars are pretty ugly fish, even though this one's really pretty. Gars, in my opinion, are pretty ugly. <laughs> you know, look, I, turn, I turn around and look, look at him. Oh my gosh, he's like, feed me. All right, guys, we are here at Pond X. Okay, so we have our fish. Brandon made me do that, okay? I'm not that, I'm not that cringe, I promise. There's our fish. <gasps> what? I made his billionaire stay. As you can tell, these fish are very expensive. How much is that one? This guy, this is a male, so probably, ah, probably like 200. Thousand? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I was at that store I was telling you about, and they had a female here, probably around this size for 150, and it was so oh, ugly. Almost so blue. I got a throne. There he goes. And then we got tons of these females. All right, we got a female. Guys, we're looking for these fish to breed. There we go. We got to throw them out a little bit because it's very shallow right here. Oh, he's peeing. <gasps> Another female. Look at the eyes. So pretty. So pretty. Little baby. Oh, it's so white. Yeah, they're just pale and no colors because they're in the bucket. Ow. God, dude. These fish are freaking crazy, guys. All right, last one. Oh, look at this one. Look at the stripe on him. That's really cool. Be gone. Oh, my finger hurts. Guys, Pond X is coming along. FWC, if you're watching this, this is a private lake that we have permission to put fish in. If you guys didn't know that, and the pond doesn't lead to anywhere. It's just its own little pond. So we're allowed to put whatever we want in here. So basically we're gonna try and breed these Viejo cichlids. We've been putting a lot in here recently and soon they're probably gonna start breeding and we're gonna come here with the cast net, throw the cast net out and just catch hundreds of these expensive cichlids. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.